Okay, now I'm going to show you an origin and insertion technique on the infraspinatus muscle. The infraspinatus muscle being the eye in the sits muscles or uh, the rotator cuff. As we know, the infraspinatus has a really large origin, so the entire infraspinous fossa of the scapula. What we're trying to uh, get at, what's most palpable for us with this technique, is the tendon that lays along the medial border and just under the spine of the scapula. So if you think about the orientation of the muscle fibers of the infraspinatus, they go obliquely like this. So this area is really the only bit of tendon that we can get at without touching the muscle belly. If we were to try to work, I mean it is all tendon right here, but if we were to try to work the tendon in the middle say here, we would be pressing on the muscle belly and the whole reason why we choose this technique is to avoid the muscle belly. So we're only going to work around the medial border of the scapula and, or yeah of the scapula and then just under the spine of the scap. So palpating the infraspinatus, you guys should know how to do this but I'll show you how I do it too if you need a refresher. So the best and easiest way, you can find the acromion at the top here. You can also find the inferior angle. Usually that's fairly easy to find on people. Some people have more tissue here. Some people have really immobile scaps, so it's hard to find it. Um, if that's the case, uh, what you can do, and sometimes what I do, is actually just come underneath the acromion here and just do a couple mobilizations of the scapula. You can see how pages is popping out here. That gives me an idea of where the inferior angle is. Now, if I keep my fingers there, then I've got a, an idea of where the inferior angle is. Then I can palpate, and I know I'm going up the medial border here. Palpate, 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 up the medial border, and there's the spine of the scapula. So now that I've palpated it out and I know where I'm going, this is the area that I'm going to do my technique on. So let's start at the inferior angle and we're gonna make those plus signs. So we're trying to distend the short tendon of the infraspinatus so that we affect the Golgi tendon organs in the area, which will create a reflexive uh, stretch on the tendon, which tells, uh, monitors the load and that will tell the central nervous system, oh, there's a great load placed on this tendon. We need to act defensively so that this tendon is not injured, and that's how it creates that reflex relaxation. So I've got my finger here, my thumb. I'm doing reinforced thumbs. You could, if you wanted to, do reinforced fingers as well, but the scapula is a little bit, it can move a little bit. So I think that the thumbs work the best. They're the most stable for this area. So I'm making sure to sink in. Remember, we're trying to go all the way down to the bone. If I'm up here working in the superficial layers, I'm not doing anything. I'm just stretching the skin and having a great old time. There's really no benefit to this at all. We need to make sure that we are at least sinking in. It doesn't mean that we press really hard. If you're, you know, if you're really pressing hard, um, you're also gonna miss the, the subtlety of this technique. So, like I said before, give yourself some time, allow your fingers to slowly sink into the tissues until you feel there's resistance as if you're on the bone. So now I will start my plus technique. So I'm gonna press, I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit the first few goes. So one, two, three and remember you're not coming out of the tissues you're holding in place here and then i'm going to come around this way see i moved my entire body around the table one two three now i can move my finger so now i move up the medial border of the scap one two three one two three and then move to the next spot and now I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's not exaggerated um, it's a very subtle movement because remember this is a very small short tendon so the main most important thing is that you're you're very much sunk in to the right depth and then it's more like this two three one two, three, 
one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm just gonna continue moving my way up the medial border and a little bit underneath the spine of the scapula, maybe two or three pluses into the tendon there. And that's going to affect the most amount of the infraspinatus tendon that we can um, with this technique and hopefully create a relaxation if the infraspinatus was in spasm and we weren't able to work on the muscle belly. So that's an origin and insertion technique for the infraspinatus muscle.